hi my loves welcome back and if you're new here welcome here in this channel we talk about relaxed hair care hair good tips protective styling and anything hair related so if you know you're interested in this type of content please consider subscribing to join the family so in today's video i'm going to be sharing with you guys more protective styles that you can use for hair growth the first and second part of this series is already up on the channel so you can check it out if you are interested so in the first part of this video i told you guys that i'll be sharing with you guys this simple protective styles that you can use for hair growth that has helped me retain length over the years and that helped me grow my hair to hip length so i've already shared with you guys eight protective styles you can use for hair growth in the first and second part of this series so we are just going to continue from there so the first protective style i'm going to be sharing with you guys in today's video is fox locks now you guys know i always say that no style is 100 percent protective every style has its pros and its cons it's advantages and disadvantages so in as much as all these styles are protective no protective style has no disadvantage so in the first part of this series i told you guys how the different protective styles protect your hair their advantages and also their cons so i'm going to be doing the same in today's video and like i said the first protective style i'm going to be talking about in today's video is fox locks now when it comes to how fox locks can protect your hair with fox locks your hair is entirely covered your hair is entirely tucked away so your ends are not exposed your roots are not exposed because this style entirely protects your hair entirely covers your hair from your roots to your tips and just like with using so ends and wigs is also like a form of double protective style because before you go in to use the extensions to form the fox locks you need to braid your hair first so your hair is going to be braided your hair is going to be protected on its own before installing the fox locks which is going to be the second layer of protective style so if you guys have been watching my videos you would know that i like styles that entirely tuck my hair away styles like so in styles like wigs and this is another reason why i love fox locks because even when i install protective styles like box braids twist and threaded twist where your hair may still be a little bit exposed I still go ahead to put these styles in bonds. So I put my box braids in bonds, my twist in bonds, my threaded twist in bonds. So whenever I'm installing a protective style, I like it when my hair is almost entirely tucked away. So this is why fox locks can be an excellent method of protective style because your hair is entirely covered. There is no form of communication between your hair to the environment, no form of exposure to the sun. You can even go out into the sun without having to worry about sun damage or heat damage and all of that and because it talks your entire hair away your moisture will be more retained compared to styles where your hair may be exposed because in styles where your hair is exposed there is possibility of it getting dry due to exposure to the wind the sun and all of that but in fox locks where your hair is entirely covered there is less risk of the sun or of the wind drying your hair another reason why i love fox looks is that your hair is protected at night even if you don't sleep with a satin or silk bonnet is recommended for you to still sleep with a satin or silk bonnet when you are on fox locks in order to preserve the extensions make the hairstyle last longer and all that but your hair itself is protected and even if you forget to go to bed with a satin or silk bonnet or use satin or silk pillowcases your hair is still protected because your hair is not directly in contact with the pillow now moving on to the con one thing i don't like about fox locks is that they can be heavy and i think this is one of the reasons i have not installed fox locks because you guys know that the heavier your protective style the more the risk of tension the more the risk of traction and consequently breakage so in order to avoid this we want to try and make sure our protective styles are light as possible but fox locks does not give this luxury there is the option of making your fox locks light though because i have seen people use less amount of extensions making their fox locks tiny and all that but the truth is the beauty of this style is taken away when it's not bulky because personally i prefer big or bulky looking fox locks to 
thin looking fox locks so this may not actually be a con depending on your preference but if you like the bulky or big looking fox locks like me then it is going to be a con so that's it for fox locks i'm moving on the next protective style i'm going to be talking about is single braids or twist and honestly i think this is going to be my next protective style you guys know i'm currently on a protective style challenge with cornrows which is supposed to last for two to three months and after this protective style i think the next protective style i'm going to install is single braids or twists now i love single braids and twists for a lot of reasons first of all there is less risk of breakage of tangling when your hair is in braids or twists so it protects your hair from tangling and consequently breakage you can even make your single braids and twists more protective by putting them in bonds whenever i install this style i usually put them in bonds in order to protect my ends and you guys know that the goal with protective style is protecting your end if your ends are not protected then it's more of like a low manipulation style so if you want to make your single braids and twists more protective you can put them in bonds and you can even use them under wigs and this is another reason why i love single braids and twists yes guys it is possible for you to use your single braids and twist other wigs when i was on my last one year relaxer stretch during the last part of the stretch what i used was single braids and i carried this style like that i wore it in a bump for like the first one month after installing it but when it started getting old and worn out then i started using it under wigs so it is possible for you to use your single braids and twist under wigs another reason why i love this protective style is that you use still have access to your scalp you still have the freedom of moisturizing your scalp as often as you want you have the freedom of cleaning your scalp as often as you want when i did a scalp massage challenge for 30 days which i shared on the channel what i used was single braids with single braids you can clean your scalp you can oil your scalp you can massage your scalp you can do literally anything you want with your scalp some people even shampoo their scalp in single braids but personally i don't do this i have a different method of cleaning my scalp while in long term protective styles which i've already shared on the channel so you can check that video out if you are interested so it is possible for you to do almost anything on your hair with single braids and twists now when it comes to comparing braids and twists it depends on your preference sometimes i prefer braids over twists because braids generally last longer than twists because with time some twists may start to unravel unlike with braids and generally twists look more bulky compared to braids so braids can fit better under a wig so that's why whenever i have to choose between single braids and twists for a long-term protective style i choose braids most of the time because when it starts getting worn out i can use it under a wig and it will lay flatter compared to when i use twists now when it comes to the cons of single braids and twists yes even though your hair is protected your hair is still exposed so you still need to take care of your hair at night you still need to take care of your hair when you go out during the day you need to protect your hair from the sun by using heat protectant caps hats and all that and during the night you need to protect your hair by using satin or silk bonnets so unlike in fox locks where you don't have to worry about going out into the sun or sleeping directly on your pillow in single braids and twists you have to worry about that because your hair is still exposed so moving on the next protective style i'm going to be talking about is a bonds you guys know that i love bonds so much every protective style that can be converted into a bond i literally convert it into a bond my box braids i put them in bonds my twist i put them in bonds my trailer twist i put them in bonds the same for my cornrows my single braids and even when my hair is down like when my hair is not in any form of long-term protective style i still put my hair in bonds so i hardly wear my hair down to be honest i'll say that 90 to 95 percent of the time my hair is up when it comes to protecting your ends outside protective styles like wigs crochet and fox locks where your ends are entirely covered bonds are the best because with bonds your ends are tucked away and they are protected and that is why i always recommend that most of the time you put your long-term protective styles in bonds i'm not saying all the time put your hair in bond don't let your hair out at all don't enjoy your hair no that's not what i'm saying but sometimes try to put your hair in bonds your boss braids 
your twists, your threaded twists, your single braids. This way, your ends are protected more and there is less risk of breakage. So when it comes to my short stem protective styles, bonds is what I use most commonly. So after my relaxer routines, that first two to three months post relaxer before I start installing long term protective styles, bonds is what I use most of the time. So if you really want to protect your ends, especially when your hair is not in any long term protective style, I'd recommend that you incorporate bonds more often into your protective styling routines. Now when it comes to the cons, there is risk of your hair getting tangled, especially when you are so many months post relaxer. I'm talking of when you use just your hair for the bond, your hair is not in any other form of protective style like braids, twist and all that you just packed your hair in a bun when your hair is left in this state for a long time for days weeks there is risk of your hair getting tangled especially when you don't refresh your bun regularly because even though your hair is still in a bun your hair strands still move against one another so when you are putting on your shirt when you are sleeping this little little movement can cause your hair strands to move against each other and cause tangling and breakage so this is why bun are not meant to be a form of long-term protective style you can use them as a form of short-term protective style but as a long-term protective style i would not recommend it because it can lead to tangling and breakage so that's the only con i can think of when it comes to bonds let me know in the comment section down below if there's any other you can think of or if you've had any negative experience with bonds so yeah moving on the next protective style i'm going to be talking about is feed in braids so these braids are different from the usual box braids because in box braids the extensions are added from the beginning as you start the braiding process but in feed in braids you start with just your hair and as you braid down you add in extensions so one reason i prefer feed in braids over box braids is because they are lighter in weight so with box braids since you are going to start adding extensions at the beginning they are going to be heavy compared to the feed in braids where the extensions are going to be added later on so feeding braids are generally lighter than box braids which means there is going to be less tension less traction and less breakage so when it comes to the other pros and cons is the same for box braids i already talked about box braids in the first part of this series i'm going to make sure to link that video in the description box below so that you can check it out if you are interested so other benefits it has is the same as in box braids including the disadvantages as well the same thing applies to feed-in braids as in box braids. The difference is that feed-in braids are lighter in weight and tends to cause less breakage from traction compared to box braids. But for other aspects, the protective styling effect, the exposure to the environment and all that is the same for box braids and feed-in braids. So I've talked about four protective styles in this video. That's fox locks, single braids and twists, bonds and feed-in braids. And if I am to pick a favorite among these four honestly i am confused i don't even know which one to pick especially between single braids and bonds but i'll go with single braids because of how i can use the style the fact that i can use it down like that and the fact that i can also use it under a wig as it gets older and i can also put my single braids in bonds if i want to so yeah i'll pick single braids as my favorite in the first and second part of this series i also shared my favorite protective style with you guys so you would know my favorite in those videos at the end of the series i think i'm going to pick a favorite out of the 16 protective styles so make sure to stay tuned for that and also make sure to comment below your favorites among those four i have mentioned so that's fox locks single braids and twist bonds and feed in braids so so far we've talked about 12 protective styles out of the 16 protective styles i have for you guys so we have four more styles to go before we come to the end of this series this video is getting too long already so i'm going to end here today again again so yeah guys that's going to be it for today's video i hope you enjoyed it if you did please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up if you are new here and you aren't subscribed please consider subscribing to join the family and don't forget to turn on the post notification bell so that you will be the first to get notified whenever i upload a new video so yeah guys that's it for today's video thank you so so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video bye